In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to make someone go from young to old in Photoshop. By the end of this tutorial, you will have created a result that looks like this from this original photograph. Start Photoshop and you are going to need to have open the photo that you want to convert. You will also need a source image of an old person, and as you can see here, we have a standard portrait image of both people. This makes it much easier. You are now going to want to insert something called guides onto the image. These will help you to match up the two faces for transferring the elements of age from one photo to the other. With the younger person's photograph open, click View, then New Guide. In the dialog box that appears, click OK. Make sure the Move tool is selected from the menu on the left and use this to drag the guide through the center of the nose. As you can see here, it doesn't quite split the face down the middle. We are going to need to correct this and you will have to do the same thing on your photograph if the face isn't level. Press Ctrl A on the keyboard and then move the mouse cursor over the edge of the image. When the rotation option appears, rotate the image until the guide splits the face down the middle. You can now move the image by holding Ctrl and clicking on it to better match things up. When you are done, press Return and then Ctrl and D to cancel the selection. Now click View. Click New Guide and click OK in the dialog box. Move this guide through the center of one of the eyes. Repeat this process for the second eye. Now create a new guide, but this time in the dialog box that appears, make sure Horizontal is selected and then click OK. Move this guide so that it runs through the corners of the mouth. Add another horizontal guide and move it so that it runs through both eyes. Now go to the image of the old person and press Ctrl A on the keyboard. Press Ctrl C and then return to the original image and press Ctrl and V. The image of the old person will be placed on top of the current image. You now need to use the boxes on the edge of the image to place the features of this person onto the matching features of the image below. You can use the rotation feature as before as well as the move feature. If you don't remember where any of the elements were, you can press return and then use the eye selector in the layers panel to make it invisible and then visible again. When you have the images lined up as you wish, press return to confirm the transformation. What you now want to do is select the opacity option from the left and reduce it so that you can see both of the images at the same time. You should also now remove the guides, so click view, then clear guides. You can already see that the image is quite effective and now we are going to focus on tidying it up. Select the Eraser tool from the menu on the left and then right-click on the image. Set a mid-range hardness and a size that appears similar to this on your image. The actual pixel setting will depend on the resolution of your photo. Use the Eraser to remove the background and any other parts of your image that you don't want to change. Here, that also includes the shirt and hair. Now we are going to want to remove some of the other elements of the older image that look out of place. Typically, this will be the eyes and mouth. Zoom in on the eyes first, then right-click on the image and select a smaller brush size. Use this brush to remove just the center of the eyes. Now go back to the mouth and use the eraser to remove the details here. How this process works on your images will largely depend on the images you are using. Now zoom out of your image and you will see that you have a rather effective result and that is how to make someone go from young to old in Photoshop.